Putin News Now. The radioactive cloud, as Putin's puppet warned, is on its way to Europe and is being mocked. Putin's top aide was ridiculed after he warned of a radioactive cloud spreading across Europe. After Russian troops attacked a Ukrainian arms depot stocked with depleted uranium ammunition supplied by the British government, Nikolai Petrushev claimed a toxic cloud was drifting westward from the region. Since the depleted nature of the ammunition rules out a radioactive reaction, experts joked that the former KGB officer must have forgotten to put his glasses on after Russian state media republished the false claim. According to Petrushev, a Russian strike last week hit a depot in Kamelnitsky, western Ukraine, about 150 miles from the city of Lviv near the Polish border. A fiery mushroom cloud rose from the damaged facility, he said, and flames shot high into the air as a result of the shelling. However, experts quickly shut down Petrushev after he claimed that Poland had already seen rising levels of radiation after the strike, calling his claims propaganda. A radioactive cloud caused by their destruction is currently moving towards Western Europe, Petrushev said in his statement. And radiation levels have risen in Poland. Republishing the claims, Russian state TV channel 1 said, a column of smoke from the explosion rose several hundred meters, and a prolonged detonation followed. After that, radioactivity levels increased. Experts from Kamelnitsky National University, debunked Russian fakes about an increase in radiation levels in the city following the attack by Russian forces on the night of 13 May, the Ukrainian publication Ukrainform reported in response to the claims. They wrote, previously, Russian propaganda began spreading information on social media and news channels about an increased radiation background in Kamelnitsky, allegedly caused by an explosion damaging either low-enriched uranium shells or components of a bomb sent to Ukraine. The Maria Curie Skodowska University in Lublin, Poland, explained a rumored increase in radioactivity in the country as a result of rainfall. Precipitation led to a rise in bismuth levels. Independent Russian journalist Ilya Shepelin reported, at its peak, on Monday, it was 5 million times lower than a life-threatening dose. The Russian official was mocked as a possible winner of a medal in the field of nuclear physics on the Procurator Telegram channel. They speculated that Petrushev may have overlooked the fact that the uranium was already depleted and could not release a radioactive cloud because he had forgotten to put on his glasses. Like the infamous freezing from halted gas supplies in winter, the Europeans won't give this nightmare threat a second thought. The U.S. is developing and already using chemical and biological weapons, including in Ukraine, Petrushev said during a meeting in Siktivkar, though he offered no proof. His comment was something like, so that's what American aid and democracy are all about. The Geneva Convention strictly forbids the use of such weapons. There is zero proof that the United States or Ukraine have used chemical weapons. However, several videos from Mariupol suggest Russia may have used such weapons in an attempt to get the Azov battalion to leave the Azovstal steel plant in May.